Okay, real quick, I'll show you how I cleaned up the background here on this shot. Uh, this is model Alana. Uh, this was a fashion photo shoot with brand Deja Chanel with makeup artist Evie G. I'll link their information below. I'll also include a Dropbox link to the TIFF file that I'm actually working on here so you can download it, open it up in Photoshop, and work on it while I'm working on it and follow along. Hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching. All right, so here once again, I've sort of found myself out of position. Uh, the model, this is Alana um, model, and she's also a, a track athlete, actually. Um, very physical model, and um, she got into some of these physical poses here, and I find myself out of position. Um, I should have been back a little bit further, zoomed in a little bit uh, more uh, with longer focal length so that I could fit her, compress the background and fit her more into the shot. I, I didn't um, necessarily expect her to jump into this position when she did, so I was kind of out of position at the time. So this is the shot that I ended up liking. And I ended up, I did move back eventually just to, so I could frame up the shots a little bit better. Um, but initially I was out of position. And so um, it is what it is. And this is the shot I ended up liking. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of work um, to get it the way that I want it. It's cool, you know, kind of the way it is if you want to see the room. But um, let's see what we can do to go in and, and fix it a little bit. So um, the first thing I'll do I've got it open in Photoshop, obviously. I'm gonna just do a Control J. Control J, that just duplicates the background layer. And let's start with the low hanging fruit. Let's get on the left side over here. I think I can get this area over here. I'm just gonna grab my lasso tool and I'm going to come over here and kind of get as close as I can to the edge here and just select this area on the outside. And I'm going to right click and I'm just going to choose fill. Make sure content aware is chosen. I'm going to hit OK. And it didn't do what I had hoped it would do. Obviously, it, it took samples of her and thought that it should be over here in this area. So this happens occasionally. I'm going to hit Control Z. So now I'm going to choose Control Z is just undo. I'm going to choose edit content aware fill. And now this is gonna allow me to, gives me some options over here. Uh, it's gonna allow me to select the area that I want it to use to fill in over here. There's a couple things I could do. I could use this content aware fill or I could just, sometimes I just paint. I just grab a paintbrush and I start painting. Um, we'll try the content aware fill. And I'm just gonna come over here and uh, just make sure that your output, I've got my output settings to the current layer. Yours may be different. You may want to set yours to the current layer if you want to see the same uh, results as I do here with the, the way that it, it resolves things into the current layer. I do have show sampling area. The color is green. So the area that, see that there, that I'm choosing to have it sample from is green. That means where it's going to take samples from. So instead of it sampling areas that I didn't want it to, it's gonna sample just the areas that I've selected here in green. And it's gonna use those pixels, so to speak, to fill in this area and approximate what it thinks should be there. So I'll hit okay. And that did a little bit better job, got us. I mean, obviously you can see a line there, but it got us 80% of the way there, and that's what we want. So let's come over here and let's I do the same thing. Now this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Let's, um, I'm just going to kind of broadly outline around the shoe there. Okay. It's not perfect. And I'm going to choose edit content aware fill again. Choose my sampling area where I want it to pull pixel from pixels from to approximate what I want on the outer edge here. And I'm going to hit okay. Of course, it's not going to be perfect. We're going to have that area around our shoe, but I mean, pretty good, right? I mean, that did better than this side. So now what I can do is go up to my quick selection tool, which is this one here and choose select subject. And it's, let's see if it'll, uh, Grab the subject, let's zoom in a little bit. 
I'm going to hold down the alter option key to kind of get a minus and subtract from the selection. Right? And then I'm going to add back to the selection. And I'll hold down the alt option again to subtract from the selection. I'm just trying to refine the selection here as best as I can. It's not perfect. I'm almost tempted to just come in here and use the pen tool and just outline the area that I want. But I mean, that's pretty good. It's pretty close. It's not getting this little black part right here the way that I want. So you really got to get in here and really just refine that selection. And I'm just making little clicks here and there just to get the selection refined. That's pretty good. Okay. Control zero recenters the canvas. And now I'm going to right click on the selection and choose select inverse. Okay. So I've got just the background selected. She's not selected. And now I can work on the background. I can come over here with my paintbrush tool. Uh, let's make sure that the opacity is around 20%, right? Use the right or left bracket keys next to the P key just to make it a little larger. And for this area, I'm going to hold down the alter option. That gives me my dropper. And then I can select right here where I want to get a sample of color from, right? Okay, let's do a, actually let's do, let's flatten this down. Flatten image, we've still got the selection. Let's do a new layer, new blank layer, hit the plus here. And the opacity's 100% flow. Let's make the flow 20% and hold down the alter option and let's grab this sample, this color right here with a dropper and you can come over here and just start kind of let's sample this color alter option and just kind of you just want to kind of blend around here just like that let's zoom in and we just pretty much there's a little spot right there come in here sample that color and just kind of grab that right there okay now let's Maybe try to blend this area over here. I'm going to use maybe a larger. And, and when you do this, make sure your hardness of your brush is set to 0%. Uh, flow of 20%. That should work. Again, we've got the outside, the background selected, not her. So I'm going to kind of just sort of blend this in right here. Just like that. I'm just sampling the color. Alter option. Click. And just blended that little spot right there. And just like that, um, I mean, it looks pretty good, actually, the way it is. Um, I like the shadows down here. It adds depth. You know, it's lighter here. There's a gradient. Um, I could come in here and, you know, the, the floor is a little dirty right here in spots. I could clean that up. But uh, for all intents and purposes, we'll deselect. And we've pretty much got it cleaned up. Okay, we started off with this right here, and then we went into Photoshop and we ended up with that right there. That's all there is to it. Pretty easy. Now, you could come in and, like I said, clean up the, the bottom here a little bit if you wanted to. Um, clean up the background a little bit more. I don't really see, you know, maybe a little bit here. You could paint in a little bit, fill it in just a little bit. But other than that, uh, that's pretty good. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.